Hello, this is Eliane and today we're going to talk about URL or Uniform Resource Locator. Elle is wondering, when she uploads a photo on Facebook or sends a message with an attached file, where does the data go? Or even when she accesses a website, where the data is stored? Is it really on the cloud? Well, Elle is going to be an inspector. She's going to borrow the hat of Sherlock Holmes and his loop to find out the path of online data. When you click a link on a computer or write it, a complete link is called URL or Uniform Resource Locator. It's the location of a file on the web. We're going to follow the steps. And here we get to a big computer that is connected directly to the internet and that has a unique IP address. Come on, Elle, let's go. This computer is called server. And you are the client. You request something from the server the server will process this request and will give you a response. The most common format of a URL is this. We're going to explain each part. HTTP, it stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. It's a protocol to transfer web pages across the internet to web browsers such as Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, and Internet Explorer. www is World Wide Web. ul.edu.lb is the domain name. It is composed of a server and a suffix. Server here is ul. It's where the item is located. Suffix, we have extensions by type of site like edu for education, org for organization, com for commercial, mobi for sites that are compatible with mobile phone, and extensions by country like lb for Lebanon, uk for United Kingdom, fr for France. Then we have the directory slash faculty slash announcements slash faculty is the folder where the announcements file is dot htm is the language used to create this website nice thank you